hello friends in this video let us continue with the next data type that is boolean data type this boolean data type is indicated in green color with this data type zeros and ones or true and false can only be represented now we can just perform basic and and or operation so now i am placing two boolean push button on the front panel from controls and to perform boolean operation i am selecting a compound arithmetic function from boolean and placing it on the block diagram screen so as we have already seen in numeric data type this compound arithmetic function also holds all the boolean operation here we have to select the required operation to be performed now we shall connect these two boolean push button as input to this compound arithmetic function and to perform and operation in this compound arithmetic function i am changing the mode as and and on the output terminal of the compound arithmetic function i am doing a right click and selecting create indicator so that an indicator will get connected this indicator is named as result by default because it is connected to the result terminal of the compound arithmetic function i am renaming this indicator as and since we will get the result of and operator in this indicator and next to perform or operation i am again placing a compound arithmetic function and i am connecting the same boolean push buttons to the input terminal of this compound arithmetic function and to the output terminal of the compound arithmetic function i am connecting an indicator and then i am moving this indicator which get added on the front panel towards the center and now i am renaming this indicator as or on the block diagram screen since we will get the output of or operation in this indicator also i am changing its mode as or since we have to perform or operation now let us execute this program since both the boolean push buttons are off both the inputs to the compound arithmetic function are false hence output obtained on both the and and or indicator are also false and if any of the indicator is true and other is false the output obtained on the and indicator will be false and the output obtained on the or indicator will be true so i am keeping one of the boolean push button on on condition and executing this program we can see that the output obtained on the and indicator is false and the output on the or indicator is true and if both the boolean inputs are true the output obtained on both the indicators will also be true so in this video we have seen about boolean data type in our next video we can continue with another data type thanks for watching please subscribe and support thank you